Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 4 as a survival, hardcore, ghoul, cannibal person. Him, basically. So, last time we made it to Tempine's Bluff with a bang, so to speak. And we were given a task by the um, settlers here to go and clean the place out, so... That is exactly that is exactly sorry what I intend to do. So let's begin. Uh, I'm going to be using this weapon. I should note and point out that I, since last time, I installed a ton of mods. Okay, I record these in bunches, so you know you, maybe the game's been updated, but I'm not on that update. It's probably because I recorded it you know, some time ago. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, that's how it goes. So, um, regardless though, I did install a ton of mods. One of which was supposed to enable the console, but it doesn't work. Um, I was going to use the console for... You wouldn't believe me if I told you, for screenshots and, uh, and uh, what's it called? Um, in case I get stuck somewhere. I wouldn't have to go back like two hours in the past to deal with that, um, you know, obviously I wasn't going to spawn in anything or something, I don't know, that's, that's not going to happen, this is going on YouTube, um, and it, it wouldn't happen even if I were playing for, you know, myself, but hey, I see that nobody believes me, so I'm just going to keep moving on, um, there you are, okay. I, as much as I like to think that this changes everything, being in survival mode and all that, you still have to conserve ammunition. Oh shit. Okay, you are my new favorite companion. Oh god, that was... Screw it. We'll do it live. And by live, I mean we'll do it with vats, which is the exact opposite of doing it live, but hey. There we go. Oh, there's more. There goes all the ammunition, but hey. As much as I need to conserve it, it's a uh, good job, boy. Good job. Um... As much as I need to conserve, conserve it, you know. I also need to survive above everything else, but uh, I should be mindful of ammunition. Okay, so they are dead. Uh, are there more? Nope. Okay. Now they're ghouls, so I don't really need to loot all of them absolutely, but, uh, you know doesn't hurt. Um, I was gonna check, oh, hello. I was gonna check what's wrong with me. Um, <laughs> the fact that I'm a cannibal is one of them, but hey. Insomnia, yeah, I have insomnia. Um, food no longer has, I have actually 5% adrenaline, which is good. But I have insomnia, so... Eh, something to consider, I suppose. Have to be safe, you know, it is maybe wasting ammunition, but you know, it's not wasting if he gets up and then murders me, then it's not wasting ammunition, then it's being stupid, so look at it like that, I suppose. Uh there could be traps in here, so watch your step. Okay, uh, loot. But before that, there's, there's, there's no, like, explosive placed underneath a, a thing here, no? Okay, loading dock terminal. I know what this is, because I remember. Cargo manifest. Yeah, there were. Hmm. Be useful for building. It could be useful building material, but until then. Yeah, yeah, I completely forgot. The mods. This is... Glow-sided light pipe bolt action rifle. 
Okay. Interesting. Um, good damage on it as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, but it's a 308 weapon. Ooh. There's a 308 weapon. Yeah, I was going to say, I the mods I... I wasn't going to say, because... Did they literally respawn now? They did, didn't they? You missed. Good job. They literally respawned right now, didn't they? Oh, I'll tell you what. They could have came from, from up north. Never mind. No, not this. That. That works rather well. Surely they didn't respawn. I mean, I've seen it happen once. They would respawn right in front of you, like right as you left the area. You wouldn't even sleep or anything. You just right as you left, they respawned. I've seen it happen once, but... I mean, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to drop this. It's not worth carrying around. Okay, uh, let's loot them. We want money. Let's finally get down to what I was going to say in the first place. I, that is not a ghoul, is it? That's a tree. Yeah. Uh, I, the mods I install add a bunch of weapons, better settlers. The list of mods you can probably find in the description down below if I don't forget to add it. This is... Shit. No, this, this is not shit. This is... Well... It is and it isn't considering, but hey. This is a shitty weapon, oh god. But it's only one ghoul, so... I think you might as well use different... ammunition variants. Okay, anyone else want to join the fun? Get back to the laser rifle. Um... Is there something in here that I should be worried about? Traps? The equivalent of basically in the form of a sweeping, uh, sweeping, <laughs> sleeping ghoul. A yeah, sweeping ghoul, I say, sweeping. Careful, I'm hunting rabbits. Uh. That's a railroad thing, isn't it? Dead drop. Ooh! Trillbilly hat. Charisma plus one. Uh, <laughs> Raider chest piece, we already have that. Military cap, extra perception. A pair of Radaways. I'm actually going to use a Radaway right now. Uh, please unstuck yourself from the floor. You're a bit distracting. Okay, what do you have on you? A bolt cap. Let's, uh, uh, military cap, as opposed to the Yushanka hat, which gives plus one intelligence, a military cap would give me plus one perception. I mean, it... it it's... Uh, I don't know. I like being intelligent. You know, an intelligent Hannibal. Uh, Hannibal? There's something wrong with me. There is something wrong with my pronunciation of, of all words. Um, Dutchman's Instructions. Oh, uh, I know what this is. This is where they got ambushed, isn't it? Uh, I was trying to remember whether bandits killed them or ghouls. I, I seem to recall ghouls killing them, so... Did you open that? I... You freaked me out, mate. Did not know you could open things. Uh, tell you what, let's go with a shotgun for close quarters here. Double barrel shotgun. Okay. Glow sighted 10mm auto pistol, I'll take it. Desk fan. 
Station Master's Terminal. Yes, here's where we can read what happened to them, but uh, I'm going to take the tape and uh, leave the area. Because nobody's willing to listen to that tape for like 20 minutes. We could play it as we're walking along, but uh, I have insightful commentary that you came here to listen to, I assume. So I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. We don't need to kill Brahmin because they don't have anything useful for us because we don't eat non-human meat. Um... Ha! Huh. We're going to talk about some of the mods that I installed, like in in a bit of a, in you know, slightly greater detail. Essentially, what I did was grab a grab those mods down in the description, which you can see, and put them in, and it revolts around me getting a Kalash. And some other weapons as well. Okay. Because the game needs more weapons. Let's face it. I mean, fair enough, there's plenty of mods to make all the guns different, but the base weapon number is rather low. As a result... We have mods. I love how it, there was a delay between the shot and the... Uh, That's the primary weapon, okay. Come. There we go. Uh, did I need to kill that Mongol? No. But I need experience, so in an indirect way I needed to kill him. I remember this area. Oh! Should also check. Yeah, the map. The map is different now. I have uh, a mod for the map as well. Clearer roads and, and all that. But uh, also, the thing is at the side. It's a grid, basically. Uh, yeah, do I remember this area? Is you follow the railroad. The <laughs> ha ha ha. Pun. You follow this area, right? To the Corvega assembly plant. Oh, we were there, weren't we? We were at Corvega, weren't we? Corvega is the place of, uh, you know, a thousand bandits. Well, that is going to be a fun fight. Um, yeah, I guess we can do it right now, can we? What do you think? Eh, probably. Uh, so we're going to, apparently we're going to assault Corvega. That is going to be tough. Uh, but, yes, the map mod is not beautiful. As well as a ton of other weapons. Uh, I was told by one of the uh, guys over on the Facebook page to sleep in every bed I can. So... Yeah, I'm going to do that. You know, there are places in the game where you can't do that, of course. But... Uh, eh... You can do it in most places, so... You're tired from a lack of sleep. I am most certainly not. What are you talking about? Tired. Uh, eh, it's okay. Parched. Minus one intelligence. So I just need water. Do I have any water on me? I think I drank it all, but it is very possible I still have some. Yes, I do. Purified water. There it is. Boom. Oh, and one rad away. I'm going to take some rad away. Yes, I am. Okay. What's the effect now? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I need to check this. Adds fatigue suppression immunity. Suppressed immunity. Increased chance of getting sick. Oh, that's the Radaway. Uh, and I'm hungry now, all of a sudden. Oh, God. What's over there? Do we know? No, we don't. Well, uh, let's figure it out, then, shall we? Together. Battle, uh, no, weapons, here we go, Institute Rifle, 
is good at range, to be honest, but Righteous Authority is just... You know. Absolutely amazing in every way, shape, and form. Oh, this was my biggest settlement. Ever. In the game. Though I don't remember clearing it out from, you know, a rat infestation. A rabid mole rat. Okay, that thing is tough. I'm glad I shot at a distance like that. Crap. I'll have you know I have a suppressed immune system right now, so I can get sick. It's the rabid one, isn't it? Gotcha. You got him. Okay, good. Uh, good, 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 good fight. Good fight. Okay. Now, there's a radiation spot in the middle, unless they removed it. No, it's still there. I don't see why they would remove it, but, you know. I suppose you don't. That's the... The thing, isn't it? You never know. Uh, I am willing to heal in this radiation. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, there's a thing up here which shouldn't have any traps, but I'm not sure. And also this thing is locked from that way, I think. As a machete. Rad Roach meat. Did I have a machete last time? Maybe. Maybe. Do you remember? There are bobby pins. Okay. The machete is a weapon, one would assume. Yes. Did the game have a machete back then? I don't think it... Ugh. I don't know. This was like when, when Fallout first came out, I made this settlement and... Would have ignored it for the rest of eternity, but <sighs> okay. Have no fear, there's more. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab the tin can. And the adjustable wrench, and I'm going to take this. I'm going to use it to clear out the mines up here, if any. No. Okay. Good, 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 good. That could have been a lot more uh, eventful. <laughs> And we have adhesive in the form of duct tape. We need to eat someone. Uh, it's never going to get old, is it? Eating someone? Uh, that entire wordplay is never going to bore me. Uh, okay. Yeah, I could heal up. Do you, know, you know what I can do? As well. Ah, probably not worth it. Okay. Duct tape, shark, bag of cement, all of this thing. Workshop. Oh, we now have this as a settlement. Okay. Good. Good. Very good. Um, very, very good. Okay. Lovely. So, I'm going to use this to transport all of my, oh sorry, transfer all of my junk in here. And I'm going to clean out some of these cars. And just free steel, basically. I used this to build a huge wall around it, essentially, and that was it. And that was all the game allowed me to do. It was at the construction limit thing. And actually, I did build a couple of... Uh, Things on the inside of the wall as well for settlers and stuff, but basically this was the wall from Walking Dead when I first played the game, and it's going to be again probably. But we're not on a mission to to build anything right now. I'm just going to plop down probably 
a bed. Yeah, I could just put it in here, but it doesn't. Oh, sorry, um, on there. Oh dear, oh dear. Why did you do this to me, game? I avoided one minefield successfully. The other one was... <laughs> more hidden. Shut up. Oh dear. So let's try that again. More carefully this time. Yeah. It triggers when you open the door, apparently. <sighs> Things like that you just can't prepare for, can you? Well, literally speaking, you can, but... Um... Turn off the radio for copyright reasons, but... I'm assuming that the initial ex screw you. That's your fault. I know it isn't. It's just I'm blaming you. Sorry. Oh, caps. Okay. Nice. There is I guarantee you there's an explosive thing up there as well. I guarantee it. Why am I taking out my gun? It's going to make me run faster from the previously mentioned explosive. Okay. Boom. No boom, okay. I, I expect to hear t t t t t any moment now. Apparently not. Appreciate it, game. Thank you. So, having cleared the minefield out, let's uh, drop off all the junk here, and once we build a... Well, no, we're going to build a settlement beacon in <clears throat> Sanctuary, and then I'm going to set a dude that, that, uh, that um, delivers supplies. Uh, well, what are they called? Uh, provisioner, yeah. I'm going to send a provisioner from here to Sanctuary, provided we don't die in the process. Of course. So you know what I would like to do now? Save. But I'm starving and... Saving right now is not advisable. So... We return to where the Let's Play began, actually, if you can believe that. Um, It was actually the first place where I turned on survival difficulty, and... No, it wasn't. This was a survival difficulty character from the start. It's the place where I, um... Picked the cannibal perk. Yeah. And the ghoul. I think the ghoul was the second one I picked. The cannibal was first, but it doesn't exactly matter. Like a trip down memory lane. Um... Uh... What the hell is that? I know there's a dude with a nuke launcher over there, so I really don't want to get go there without uh, sleeping in a bed somewhere. But uh, you know what? Okay, bad textures that refuse to load in. I want to sneak up to a bed and sleep in it, and also reload the game apparently because. This is not what this is supposed to look like. Yeah, okay. Do 
Didn't I pick this place clean last time? Apparently not. Okay, bed. Uh, sorry. Corbega assembly plant. Yes, of course. Bed now. You feel ill. I have an infection. What's it do? What's it do? What's it do? Tell me. Periodic damage. Oh, thank God I have antibiotics. Thank you. That could have been. Oof. Okay, um, no more purified water, I don't think, but uh, dirty water, yes. Properly hydrated, there we go. Okay, antibiotics are the new most important thing in the world right now. Along with vi uh, whiskey and vodka. So how am I feeling right now? Hunger... T hungry, tired. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to exit the game because of these textures. Oh God, this is hideous. Is it the mods? I don't think so, but it could be because you know sprinting and all that. Uh, I don't know. The game starts breaking down as soon as you install some mods into it. It's it's Bethesda. We all know that. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to try and take over the Corvega assembly plant. Please remember to like, subscribe, down below if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.